Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we got Burning Paris, Hell on Earth, Gunslinger. We're going to give uh, Hell on Earth another try here. It didn't work out so well last time, but figure, hey, I uh, may as well do something in an attempt to, to lengthen these videos a little bit, right? Because uh, they're a little bit short, and I want them to be a little bit longer. So, Hell on Earth it is. Which is all good. Oh boy. You know, I've, uh. I haven't been making my own food too much lately. At least not, uh, not stuff that requires me chopping it. Like, I haven't been, I've been cutting my own food lately, I guess we'll, we'll put it that way. Sorry, I just ate, and, uh. I should've, should've, should've waited a little while before I, uh, I recorded, or I should've recorded before I went and ate. So, got a bit of a. Got, got some. Yeah, you know, I gotta, gotta clear the throat after I eat, kind of thing. Anyway, I haven't been, uh, most of the food that I've been making lately has been uh, stuff that I don't have to chop, like whole foods, and it's not because I don't want to chop stuff, because I enjoy it, I just I don't have anything to chop, like uh, I've been eating eggs, or uh, like soups, um, or, uh, or I've been eating stuff that my parents have made lately as well a bit, because uh, I mean, it's, it's just, it's annoying. To have to uh, deal with my fridge the way it is, so I'm, I'm living the way I can for now. But uh, not much, not much chopping has been done, and I've got my new knife so that I, I really like, and uh, kind of sucks because I wanted to. Uh, I mean, I want I wanted to play more with the knife, right? I wanted to, I wanted to be chopping stuff when I got the knife, but it just didn't quite work out that way because of the whole uh, my fridge. Just, I mean, the temperature's low, so a lot of the stuff that I had in it is, like, garbage. Oh, yeah. um, or the temperature's high, rather, so a lot of the stuff in it is garbage. I had to throw out, like, a lot of food. Um, I left some stuff out of the fridge, and then I'm like, well... Like, that was that was my food for the month. I don't really have the budget to, to go buying more food when I already kind of bought the food that I was supposed to be eating, and a lot of it got thrown out, and then I invested in a knife and fridge and... So it hasn't really been uh, been too well for me to go and, and get like stuff that I would chop, right? Like I can get like you know instant ramen or, or something like that and make that for 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 food. But that's not I'm not I'm not I'm not chopping much up for that. I mean I, I occasionally do some some mushrooms or chives or whatever added into it, but um yeah it's uh, it's, it's kind of sucked because I wanted to play with my knife a little bit more and I really had the opportunity to because. Well, mostly because I bought the knife. But, uh... It's coming up on the end of the month soon. I get paid uh, in, in a little under two weeks. I get paid on the uh, the last Wednesday of the month, unless the last Wednesday of the month is, like, super close to the end of the month, in which case I get paid on the second to last Wednesday of the month. I think it might be, like, the third one, when the, the third Wednesday of the month that I get paid, actually. I'm not sure exactly the, uh, the rules behind it. But, uh... I get paid in, a, in about a week and a half. So, that's cool. I'll be able to uh, buy some more food and, and kind of splurge a little bit. Um, should be really, really nice. Uh, and then uh, my, my fridge is all supposed to be coming at the end of the month, so I'll be able to actually have somewhere to put the, fr the food, which is really the main problem, not necessarily the money, because I mean, I, I, I've got enough to, to eat. I just I don't have anywhere to put it really anyway. And then I'm like, well, I may as well just save my money, right? Save it until the uh, till I get the fridge and have somewhere to put the food and can actually uh, do it in a, in a responsible way. Because I'd have to be putting it in the uh, the main fridge right now, and it's just uh, not really not really space in there. Because they gotta have their food, and then I'd have my food, and it's not really uh, not really doable. So, come on. But we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. The fridge is supposed to be coming, I mean, he said it would become the, the dude we talked to at, uh... Can't remember where we went at this point. Rona? I think? I think it was Rona. Uh, he said uh, it would probably be coming earlier than he, ex than he uh, estimated, and he estimated, like, late this month, very early September. So... I mean, I'm expecting it to come soon-ish, and then I'll have my fridge. 
It's gonna be so nice having that fridge. It's just so much better in, in like every possible way than the than the one I currently have. Super excited about it. So on uh, on with regards to the hell on earth, uh, I do notice the difficulty change. It is it is noticeably harder. Um, I take a lot more damage when I make mistakes. But I mean, largely it seems uh, it seems manageable at least, right? I think I could. Uh, I think I could handle this. We might make a permanent move to Hell on Earth. We'll try it for a bit anyway, and then uh, see how it goes. We might move to suicidal, uh, like normal length, so uh, just a little bit longer. Cause I want to get the videos a little bit longer. I'm uh, getting more into the recording stuff these days too, and I wouldn't mind the videos being slightly longer. I don't want it to be super long. Like when I have, oops, uh, a really long video, it's it's kind of not super great for me. Um, but, like, uh, 15 to 20 minutes seems like good to me. I think, personally. Anyway. Uh. So. Yeah, I don't know. We were supposed to be playing D&D &D tomorrow, but that got cancelled because somebody had to go to work. People ruin their responsibilities, man. Why can't people just have no responsibilities and, uh... You know, show up whenever I want them to. Why can't the world revolve around me? Gosh darn it! It's a bloody you okay there, buddy? You alright? Yeah, you're alright. He's alright. He's uh, he's a dead man. Oh, and I'm a dead I'm a dead woman. No, I'm not. I'm a very alive woman. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I, uh, I take it back. I spoke I spoke perhaps a little bit too soon. That's a real flesh pound. Huh? Oh! Dear. Um, so about that Hell on Earth being manageable. Perhaps I take that back. Never mind, I don't take it back. I'm a god. I should probably uh, change my strategy to go for getting a second weapon sooner on Hell on Earth, though rather than going straight for the upgrades because there are just more zeds and my aim isn't quite good enough for it to be uh really really manageable super super well with just the one gun if i if i was like a you know actual god gamer I'd probably be able to make it just fine unfortunately i'm only like a demigod gamer you know demigod at best a demigod gamer We'll stick with the Glock for the uh, for the trash. Pull out the Deagles for the uh, the bigger stuff, and that should that should work out fine. Hell on Earth, not that bad, not that bad. Who said Hell on Earth had to be hard, right? Not me. We'll uh, we'll see how it goes though. But I've uh, I've been chopping. I, I love chopping onions. Is is my favorite thing to do with the new knife. I don't I don't use it too much, but when I do, it's it's normally to chop onions uh, because it's just so satisfying. Because you you do those horizontal cuts on the on the onion, and the the blade just slides right through like nothing. And it's it's not a it's not because it's sharper, but because it's thinner. I've had this whole discussion before, but I mean, look, it's every time I every time I cut an onion, I'm like, oh, it's so good, it's so good. I just want to hug it. I want to kiss it. You know? We got uh, we got some knives from my grandparents. I don't know if I talked about these. Um, but my uh, my grandparents, they've uh, they finally moved, so they're in their new place now. Um, I have not had the time to go over and check it out yet. I mean, I have to go it, it's just it like mentally it's it's a it's a whole problem. I should not be coming up this way. I should be changing up how I'm running around here. Uh, I'm gonna consider you a, a small boy. Um, I think we have a real flesh pound coming up behind us too. Um, I haven't had the chance to go over and visit them yet, which kind of sucks. But I have to. I have to have somebody going with me. But then it can't be my parents because uh, I can't talk with them around. So like kind of not so great for me to be there with them so I, I just haven't had the the opportunity 
to uh, to go yet. But anyway, they've uh, they've moved into a new place, and one of the things that we got when they left, among a lot of things, was uh, one of the things that we got was uh, like a, a knife set that they had. We got like, uh, come on, dude. We got, uh, oops. We got, oh my god, it's, it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, a, like, chef's knife, and then, I think I have talked about it before, but it was like a chef's knife, and then, uh, like a really thick boning knife. So it wouldn't really work as a boning knife. I think. I'm not sure. I don't know my knives too well. I just like the one that I have. Um, but, uh, yesterday I was, uh, so I sharpened the chef's knife, right? But I didn't touch, I didn't have the, when I was sharpening it, I didn't have the time to, uh, to sharpen the other one. Um, so I didn't sharpen it. Because, I mean, the, the chef's knife's the one that's important, right? The other one, who really cares if it's dull? Nobody's using it. No, nobody's using it, so it doesn't matter. Um, but the, uh, the chef's knife was, was important because we're going to be starting to use that one as, uh, as our primary chef's knife in this house. Uh, so I sharpened that one. And, uh, it's, it's, you know, sharp. I didn't take it all the way because my mother's super picky about it for some reason and doesn't like sharp knives because she thinks they're dangerous. I've, I've talked about it a number of times. Um, but anyway, uh, the other one, right, the, uh, the weird thick boning knife. Uh, yesterday I was opening up a new bag of uh, pierogies for dinner and I, I grabbed the knife and I like stabbed into the bag and that worked, right? That worked because it's it's got like a point. It doesn't really matter how sharp the point is. It's going to be able to pierce plastic. Like that's that's not that's not that's not in the question here. Right? You, can, you can pierce it with the back of a fork, right? Like what am I doing? Um... So I, I pierced into the uh, the bag, and then I tried to cut it by like pushing it straight, right? Like push cutting through the plastic, which with every other knife in this household will will cut it just fine because it's just a thin thing of plastic for like a bag of pierogies, right? Um, but this knife wouldn't even cut it. I was like pushing with like all my might, and it would not cut it. I had to uh, I had to slide cut for the for the the pathetic little plastic bag, which was. Uh, well, it made me realize that, like, yeah, I really got to get to sharpening this one, too. But I don't want to get out the sharp, the, the whetstone and get to, to sharpening for just one knife. So we'll, uh, we'll hold off until the next time I'm sharpening knives, which will probably be not too far away. Because I, I like to keep the knives reasonably sharp. And it's been maybe uh, a week since the last one. I, I tend to sharpen them maybe once every month or so. Um, so... I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll we'll see how it goes, but uh, like it couldn't even cut through the bag. It was it was a horribly pathetic showcase of uh, of the knife. It was like uh, you see all those videos on the internet, right? About uh, people with their super sharp knives and they're like push cutting through paper, cutting up the grapes, cutting up tomatoes, and it's like wow, it's a super sharp knife. I'm like I can make a video of this one, exact opposite, <laughs> you know? Like that's 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 the so-called you know knife porn or whatever. I can make uh, I can make a knife gore video, <laughs> you know. It was really bad, like the performance of this Hans fight. I whiffed a lot of shots with the Deagles, I think, is what it did it. I'm just used to the suicidal fights, and uh, well, it's quite a bit harder now. So I think we're okay with it, though. I don't mind dying on the boss. Uh, I can get better at the boss fights, and uh, as long as I can get there and the videos are over 10 minutes long, I'm pretty happy with it. But this is gonna do it for today. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.